妈妈救我，妈妈，我会乖乖的。哦，放心，我让你吃饱饱。啊。<laughs> okay. But look at this, all the offshoots. And is there some in the back? Yeah, there are some growing in the back of the media as well. So these are all the babies that you're propagating. Cute. Wow, this is cute. Very okay. cute. In the last episode, we toured the mind-blowing rare platyseriums of master collector Huang Shijie in Taiwan. We discussed their curious origins, trends, and market demand. In this episode, we will deep dive into advanced and expert platyserium care shared by the master himself. Admittedly, most of us will never be able to attain this high level of care, but we will walk out of this with a better understanding of platyserium care, so we can inch closer towards healthier and healthier happier platyseriums. Some of the techniques shown here are also applicable to other types of houseplants, so I would pay close attention and take down notes. Let's begin. 这三年来我在栽培鹿角蕨使用了一个非常特殊的方法就是大家都用日光栽培但是我用全灯光栽培现在的LED植物灯源非常的方便 因为正常的植物它接受的光照大概在16到14小时左右。如果你加长到24小时的光照,只要温度正确,它的生长就会比平常快两倍以上。这也是为什么我栽培的鹿角蕨又快又美又漂亮的原因。也欢迎大家跟
And yeah. next, I guess I'm going to ask about the media. The media is sphagnum moss. Yeah, <laughs> only <laughs> sphagnum moss. Okay. Okay. And then now let's talk about fertilizing. We saw some footage earlier of the fertilizing and some of the products used. Don't go there. Oh, here have the. 缓解，缓解肥，缓解肥，慢慢的。Slow release fertilizer. 里面有。In a tea bag， 这是茶。对对对，茶包。茶包 ，so cute <笑>。然后我里面用了三种肥料，一种是。有啊。Oh, HB 一零一。HB 1 0 1。好，那就是四种肥料了。HB 1 0 1。1 and 好康多二号 ，and 白色是魔肥，兰花用的。Okay, for orchid. Uh, yeah, for orchid. Or, and uh, all, all slow release. And the olive oil. Okay. 等于是四种肥料。奥妙吧。啊，奥利奥利。Okay. Okay. But generally speaking, you want to put some slow release on the olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. Okay, I'll put it back. Interesting. Okay. Many, many. I give them many, many. So you give them feed a lot of food uh, yeah. to fertilize, but not too much. I think too much. Too much is okay. Yeah, I, I always <laughs> give them many, many. Okay. So okay, so this is a slow release fertilizer that you use, but you also uh, used a water fertilizer, yes, yes. and you soak them in the water yep. every few weeks whenever you feel like it, and that's also uh, a way to feed them. But you said you dilute them, but you fertilize often. Yeah. Yeah. All so right, we are entering the, the indoor space mm. here. And we're going to discuss the plant care indoors, which is very different from outdoors. So this light is turned on 24 hours a day, it's grow light. And apparently the spectrum is perfect for platyceriums. And Ajie is very, very generous about sharing his specifications. If you want to reach out, I'm sure he'll help you out. But yeah, this is how they are actually grown all day long. And then there are a lot of babies behind there as well. And there's also airflow here. This is on 24 hours a day. Platyceriums indoors, they need airflow. This is very, very key to their survival. So a lot of people have problem growing air plants and also Tillandsias indoors because they absolutely need airflow. And then with watering indoors, is it similar to outdoors? 室内的浇水不一样，因为室内浇水我有用电风扇，而且天气热的时候会开冷气，所以我必须每天来去注意它的重量。你如果拿起来很轻，就会直接泡水。OK. Earlier. See you. Oh, bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> That's easy. And it looks like a person. How, how long? How long do you put it? Yeah. How long? 如果我用手帮忙压下去。Okay. Not just pop, 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 pop. Twenty yeah. minutes. Oh, like this twenty minutes. If you use uh, your hand. Ah. Uh -huh. If you don't. 如果我很忙，我会放着，等我有空的时候才拿起来。Could be <laughs> half a day. Yeah, maybe maybe <laughs> half, half day. Maybe half a day. day. It needs yeah. to be that to that long. 它有它真真的要这么久吗？它要放进去？其实不用，大概大概正常来讲，三分钟就很够了。Okay. <laughs> so three minutes is is actually enough, but you can also put it longer. And I see the slow release fertilizer back there as well. So uh, because the room is temperature controlled, it's quite a low temperature, about 24 degrees as degrees Celsius. So bacteria and fungus is not prone to grow on these plants because it's a- For the low temperature. For low temperature. And also because this room is sealed completely from the elements outside. So not a lot of infections can come in. Because platyceriums, they can be quite prone to infections in a tropical, humid, or hot climate where a lot of fungus and bacteria and spores can grow. So yeah, this is an interesting tip. So you keep them indoor, a bit sterile, and in a controlled temperature. This is what I take care of these little plants and just take it out. So you can see that the bag is full of water and water. Let's see this bag first. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Oh, and it feels nice. It's hot. Yeah. 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 So it's like almost 100% <laughs> humidity. So you can see this, help them. This is real. Yeah, yeah. So these are babies, uh, with like uh, cuttings. Yeah, cuttings. Yeah. I always, always, every day cutting. Every day cutting. Yeah. Sometimes I have time. 只要有工具，我就有时间我就拿工具。Okay. 用这个，我可以挖一颗给大家看。可以 ，Can you do it? Oh. Okay. Oh my God. Yes, please. Name for this. This one. is a matata. Matata. Many many people like this. Yeah. Very big. Okay. Wow wow wow. Oh. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, it's so painful. <laughs> uh. Childbirth is always painful. Okay. Huh? Oh. 
Okay. Look. What is the, oh, you use a plier. Ooh, okay, wow, this is cute. Very okay. cute. Okay, so I just do one job. Yeah, I said, Puyong. So there's roots here already, in back here. So I, I show the you. I show this. We dig it, it's rooted. Oh, this, this is all rooted. Oh, yeah. It's rooted. The roots are green. These are all to be left. Because the roots are rooted, it grows faster. Okay. Put it on the side. 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 Okay. Yeah. 抓好以后，我们这样一杯整个塞进去， okay. 塞进去就这样不行，这样你还要用工具把它这个塞紧。那因为很多人会觉得说，这个手跟脸都已经长得那么好了，应该可以不用这样照顾，但是怕根系有受伤，所以我们这样包起来照顾，它根系会生长得更好。But meanwhile, while that's rooting, he keeps them in this humidity tray. Because when you keep the plants in a humidity uh, environment like this, they actually prioritize the root growth, and the leaves, the fronds, don't really get uh, stressed. Yeah. So yeah, uh, this will be mounted eventually, but now it's still being uh, propagated, being rooted away here. You s you stuff it. <laughs> yeah, so you keep stuffing it until all the roots are very secure. It's just fine if you damage the front. Uh, it's just okay, the money. Zhang long lan na ge. Po po diao mei guan xi. Oh, okay. Because we want the growth to continue. Oh, okay. Then this size, we of course not to put. Because the size of the face the bigger, the effect the power of the light is better. Oh, okay. Just let it go down. Ah, that's good. That's good. So you put it more complete, the state will be better. Oh, okay. And in terms of pest pressures, staghorn ferns, they don't really have a lot of pests. They said that in the spring or summer, they sometimes will get moths or butterflies come in, caterpillars. So there's ways that they treat with that. But like the mealybugs and the spider mites, they don't really experience that here. And for spring, summers, when these plants are grown outside or in nurseries, you do need to give them fungicide because they are prone to fungus and bacteria. But then here in this indoor Not climate, indoor, okay. sterile, they don't really need that kind of care. So yeah, <laughs> pruning. All right, and with that being said, I guess we've shared a lot of interesting care about Pythosterium. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you, my two gracious hosts for today, Atie <laughs> and Alvin. We'll be moving on to film other contents. You'll see more of Alvin in the next few episodes. Thank you, Atie. Bye. Instagram's going to be on the screen. Give him a follow if you have any questions. I don't think English, I think it might be an what? issue. <laughs> but, if, <laughs> but yeah, if you have any questions or follow, if you want to see some interesting Pythosterium product coming in the Taiwan market. So yeah, uh, thank you Bye. guys. <laughs> see you in the next one. High five. <laughs> Thank you, Patreon members, for supporting the channel. Should you consider joining as a member, the Patreon link is Sean from Only Plants. It can also be found in this video description. I've started producing bonus contents for members. These include plant hauls, plant shopping, and mini bite-sized adventures. The same bonus contents will also be unlocked for you if you join to become a YouTube member of the channel. There is a monthly membership fee as small as a cup of coffee a month. Simply go to Only plants channel page and click join your contributions help me grow the channel do better content and have a better quality of life for that i thank you from the bottom of my heart